make Gandhi out of 225 Rubik's Cubes today. So each class gets a box of Rubik's Cubes and um, each classmate gets to solve a couple of Rubik's Cubes and then we all put it together and it looks really cool. We've been trying to do something really fun with our time and we decided to get out Rubik's Cubes and make something. So we decided to make a mural of Abraham Lincoln. That was what we did first. Now we're making one about Gandhi. We were looking for a project that would help our students uh, learn that when something is difficult, that they can work harder and persevere and have patience and um, they can do it. They may not be able to do it right now, but with perseverance and hard work, they can end up doing it. So Rubik's Cubes were um, something that I thought would be fun and we found online that you can borrow a set of Rubik's Cubes and all you have to pay is the post return postage. So it really is a, it was a fun project for the kids and they learned a lot. Uh, Rubik's Cubes, uh, actually the, the inventor of Rubik's Cubes, Rubik uh, himself, he, it took him a month to solve his own uh, cube, uh, to learn how to do that. Um, there are 47, I think, or 43 quintillion different uh, ways, combinations that you can turn the cube. Um, so it was even difficult for him and the kids uh, know that and they've learned a lot about themselves and hard work and how hard work can pay off. Well this is a really fun idea and this uses a lot of um, thinking, like it uses really in-depth thinking and I guess it really challenges you because a lot of honor students need a bit of a challenge. Some people are really good at it and can do one in like a few seconds. Some people it takes like a minute, some people it takes like five minutes to do one. The mosaics are online. Uh, you can choose from different ones. You can also make your own mosaic. So uh, if you have a photograph, you can put it into the mosaic uh, maker and you make your own uh, template. So it's divided up into nine sections. So each one of the sections has 25 cubes, and each one of the cubes would be nine pixels. So when you put it all together, all the nine sections together, it makes a, a nice mosaic. So 225 cubes. Well, once you get the Rubik's Cube solved, you have to put it back in the box to make the exact section that you're doing. Then we get to go upstairs and watch the people put it behind the glass. I just came from up there and it was really cool. We've been working on leadership and legacy um, in the past couple of weeks. And Gandhi, he was a really good peacemaker who left behind the legacy of nonviolent people. And then Abraham Lincoln was also a president who was really strong and powerful leaders. And um, learning about them and remembering them is really good. Doing Rubik's Cubes uh, helps with analytical thinking and abstract thinking. Um, it helps with uh, concentration, uh, learning about perseverance and persistence and patience. Yeah, I like the quotes on the side of it. There's like a quote. That looks really awesome. Oh, that looks cool. Like it looks like